Welcome to theCUBE, I'm Lisa Martin, uh, on the ground at the Computer History Museum with the Association for Corporate Growth Silicon Valley. We're here tonight for their 13th annual Grow Awards. Very honored to be joined by the winner of the 2017 Emerging Growth Award, and that is Twilio. Lee Kirkpatrick, CFO of Twilio, welcome to theCUBE and congratulations on the award. Yeah, thank you, it's exciting to be here. And with this award, Twilio joins the likes of LinkedIn, Fitbit, Trulia. What does it feel like to have this validation for Twilio? Yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled. I mean, very innovative, leading Silicon Valley companies. So, you know, when we got the call that we won it, very, very excited. And it's no surprise that Twilio has won. I was doing some research on you guys. In 2016, Twilio grew revenue 66% over 2015, also, you added over 11,000 active customers. Tremendous. Tell us about some of the critical enablers that have allowed Twilio to be that successful, from um, your exec board all the way down to your culture. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, you know, that revenue growth means a lot of happy customers that join, join Twilio, get on the platform and stay with Twilio. So Twilio was a company founded by developers for developers. When it was founded, uh, John, Jeff, and Evan were told, developers will never buy, they're not an audience, but really, we proved them wrong. So giving developers a tool to build and innovate has been the big driver of our growth. Tell us about the culture that is really, I presuppose, at the foundation of being so successful. What's it like to be a Twilliant? Yeah, I mean, values are really important, especially in a high growth company when so many new people are coming in every day. When we interview our employees, we actually take a look and say, do they embody our values? When you walk into the Twilio office uh, on your very first day, your very first uh, orientation is an executive talking through the Twilio values. So they're important. Um, and a couple that I really, I, I enjoy are, one is live the spirit of a challenge. So the values, if what we're doing doesn't terrify you, you're not pushing and trying hard enough. And then as a CFO, be frugal. Of course, is my favorite, as you'd expect. Of course. And, you know, are we spending our money wisely for our customers? Is there a, a, the, I, I love that, if you're not terrified, are, are we doing the right thing? What about the, the opportunity to try? And if it doesn't work, we kind of regroup and we try again. Tell us about that spirit at yeah, Twilio. And, and I think that's driven from, the, again, the developer innovation focus. So developers try and innovate, experiment, and move on and aren't afraid to fail. And we've seen that at Twilio as we moved on to develop the product and, and scale the business. So I think that embodies uh, the whole innovation spirit, taking a risk and, and ultimately being successful. One of the things that, that I found really exciting about not only the ACG awards, but what Twilio is doing is the part of the award that really evaluates uh, candidates on their commitment to the community. And I was looking at Twilio.org and what you're doing there and First of all, tell us the genesis of Twilio.org. What was really kind of behind this uh, organization? Yeah, I mean, it really happened organically. So, you know, we found that a lot of our early customers were not-for-profits. And the same thing the business wants, flexibility, no upfront fees, uh, simplicity, ease of use, low cost, is probably more important for a not-for-profit. So we started working with not-for-profits early. And again, communication is so critical, whether you're it's the American Red Cross or Doctor for Borders or these other firms, having effective communications is critical for them to be successful and make a social impact. Exactly. And one of the ones that, that piqued my interest was what you're doing with Twilio.org with the National Association of Guide Dog Users and the Mad Dog Lady. But as you just mentioned, there's really a diversity in the type of nonprofits that you work for and what you're giving them must kind of give back to you in terms of just being inspired by what Twilio has created is enabling across many communities and many industries. Yeah, it's exciting. And in, in, in that example, having that hotline for, for uh, blind people, if there's an issue for them to call up and have a hotline and talk to their issue, it's, it's, so, it's so important, so valuable. And so again, impacting their lives. And it, you know, we help you know, from the blind to teens and many other social impact. And the employees love it. I mean, Twilio is part of the 1% uh, the pledge, where we pledge 1% of our equity 1% of our profits and 1% of our employee time to give back and give to the community. And we've been fortunate to be a successful company and it's important for the employees to give back. Well, I hope it means as much to the employees as I think it probably does being the 2017 ACG 
ACG Emerging Growth Award winner. Lee, thank you so much for your time. Great. Congratulations to you, and I hope you enjoy the evening. Thank you, Miss. You're very welcome. Thank you. And we want to thank you for watching the Cuban.